Well, it's kind of interesting with Lois not feeling well and uh, us being kind of confined to the house. Uh, we've watched more television than we normally would. Uh, two things that happened as uh, we've been watching television, we've been watching America's Got Talent. Uh, we've been seeing the tears of those who are knocked out of competition uh, from uh, young children to senior adults who are getting a really late, late start on music or have been singing all of their lives and never had the break. And uh, then we also watched the Barbara Mandrell story. Interesting how God uses all different things to speak to your heart about spiritual things. Uh, I watch those people with hope that they might win a million dollars and have a Las Vegas show and I uh, thought about people that I've spoken to over the last several days, uh, some that are going back to school to get masters, doctorates, or uh, some that are getting ready to pack up their family and go off to the mission field. And It made me stop and think about what is your hope? What are, you, what are you hoping for in life? And uh, as I thought about that, I thought about 1 Peter 3.15. But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to anyone who asks to give an account for your hope that is in you, yet with gentleness and reverence. The Barbara Mandrell story I had never really heard in detail. Uh, top of the country and western singers, uh, record sales and albums uh, for a number of years being above all of the other country and western singers in a tragic automobile accident uh, with head damage, children injured severely in the same accident, not her fault, but nevertheless the media talked about uh, under the influence of alcohol or drugs, the media criticizing because she sued the other driver even though Tennessee law required that for her insurance company to pay for her injuries. Uh, and then something very strange happened in Barbara Mandrell's life according to this movie about her life. I assume it's fairly accurate. She gave up her entire music career retired and sold all of her instruments. And remember, if you know anything about Barbara Mandrell, she played a number of different instruments. And now she's content being a mother, a grandmother, a wife, and a gardener. The one thing that never changed over Barbara Mandrell's entire life, in spite of all of her success and all of her financial victories and all of her achievements and all of the hopes that she thought she had was the one thing that stayed consistent was her faith and that faith held together a marriage for more than 45 years uh, I think they're going on now 48 or 50 years uh, held together her family held together her life in spite of the pain in spite of all of the problems faith. It was her hope. And she doesn't see her music career as having been that significant when she starts to weigh it against family, love, and doing what God wants. She never left God out of her life. She wasn't like she became successful and then shut out God. God was always an important part of her life. Many times she fought to keep religious music in her uh, TV series and, and her concerts and so on. But it was faith. And, and she's written a book and she has this movie which talks about the importance of faith. Isn't that what First Peter 3.15 says? Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense for everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, and yet with gentleness and reverence. It's strange how God can speak to you, not through a church service, but through uh, a movie, through uh, America's Got Talent, uh, and saying, how often our hope 
is in the wrong things. The unimportant things as is really counted important. A million dollars. What difference does it make if you lose your life? <laughs> So you sought to think about scriptures like what profits a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul. The hope that's in you. Is it to be pleasing to God? Is it to accomplish what he set before you? To love and be loved? To have a successful marriage and a successful home? What is your hope? Is it in the right things? Is it focused and centered on God and faith in Him? It's an interesting thought when you think about it. As I looked at Lois and some discomfort and pain and uh, going through the treatments of antibiotics and all of those things, uh, I remember leaning down and giving her a kiss goodnight last night, saying, we're going to make it through this. And we've had 55 wonderful years. And she said, I know. And God has always been in the center of our lives. He is our hope. He is our faith. And I hope that he will make him the center of your life. And I pray that you'll see that it's not about a million dollars. And it's not about success in the business world. It's not about reaching some secular goal. It's all about being pleasing to Him. It's all about love and being loved. That's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.